welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Alex. And guess who's wearing the 1X t-shirt from Gildan? It does fit me. I'm so excited. So I thought I would wear it in honor of today's Dollar Tree haul. Um, I did get this at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Okay, we have a Dollar Tree haul and it's a big one. So let's get moving, shall we? Um, I picked up some glass cleaning wipes, mostly for my car, inside and out. It's time. And this is streak-free 160 glass cleaning wipes. I thought that was a great deal. So I grabbed that. Um, I need to get my car cleaned. It's full of salt and dust and yuck right now. Not okay. Uh, and no particular order here, friends. I grabbed these. I love greenery, and these are just like Golden Girl greenery to me. I don't know what the actual plant is. It just says foliage. Um, but I think these are going to be nice. I'm trying to spread them out so you can see. Added to... So if you just fluff them up a little bit, they definitely, definitely are better. And I think these are going to go great in my tear tray for spring. So I grabbed two of those. Um, I definitely don't buy a lot of foliage at the Dollar Tree, and mostly because um, I just don't find the quality is there. I prefer to spend just a little more and get it at, on sale at like Michael's or something, but it's okay. Um, I found also for the car, I grabbed another pack of these Armoral Disinfecting Wipes. I like the smaller package. Mine tend to dry out if I... Um, I don't shut them but this does say kills COVID-19 I do have a road trip coming up and I want to get my car cleaned and disinfected and I will have probably some people in my car so that's good just to have for after my trip I also grabbed a two pack of these meal prep containers also for my upcoming trip um, because I'm going to be taking some of my own food with me and I liked these portions that I can do and then have in my, um, the refrigerator in my hotel room because there is a refrigerator. If I eat out, I eat out, If but I need to have stuff with me that I can eat for my diet. So, you know, my keto. And I have some other things to show you for that. Also, I picked up these plant labels they're just plastic sticks, but I'm going to be doing some starters maybe. And what you can do is write it on here with a Sharpie, and I'm pretty sure you can just take an alcohol swab and wipe it off. But there's a 10-pack in here, and if not for that, I think these are fantastic just to have around. Oh, they're backwards in the package. I was like, oh, I don't like that hole, but they look good. Oops. So a 10-pack of these, and this was in the garden section. I have to get start getting ready for spring, guys. Speaking of, this is in the iron-on section. I don't know if I have this or not, so I wanted to get it just in case. But it just says, Adventure Awaits. Oh, I could put it on this shirt. But most likely, it'll go on like a bag or something. But it's an iron-on, and I thought that was super fun. Um, I haven't tried these yet. If you have, let me know what you think. But it even has directions, which is new, because a lot of their stuff does not come with directions. But I picked that up. And then, oh, to go with my spring, I really love these muted colors this year. And this is like a sagey green ribbon just to do an accent. I don't have a lot of spring ribbon. And this is Dollar Tree brand. Um, I'd probably get nine feet in here if I had to guess. Yeah, you get nine feet. It is a grow, grow grain ribbon, so it is not wired. And that's just for some spring craft day events. Um, ugh, next bag. Ugh. Oh, I found some more labels. I love this, the plain circles, and they come in different sizes. Um, I use these for all sorts of things, so now I have a nice selection. But also, the ones I got that are just the sheets of, of cards, um, chalkboard, I can cut those on my Cricut and make any shape label I want. So there's that. But I did grab those stickers. I'm excited that my store has finally got them in. Um, oh, for Sarah's Easter basket, they came out with a spring line of this sweet chaos. She really enjoys this popcorn. And this is cake batter, and it has 
some spring colored sprinkles and then there's obviously the bunnies and the spring on the packaging so that's for sarah's easter basket which i'm almost done with another receipt from my fetch rewards so i'll put that away uh, for my trip, I grabbed a small little tube of Optic White. You know, it says 50% more free. And I'm going to tell you, there was a bunch of boxes that had this and a bunch that didn't, and they're all the same size. So I'm not sure what we're 50%ing, but it was $1.25. It's a travel size tube of toothpaste. It'll work um, perfectly fine for what I need it for just a couple days. I picked up some 3M packing tape. I really prefer this over the Dollar Tree brand. And that's mostly because this sticks better, but it also comes with its own dispenser. And I've been mailing packages out and stuff. So it's, I ran out, so I just got a replacement. And on here, it is 3M brand and you get 11 yards. And that's a, a fair amount of packaging tape. Let's see on the side there. And I love the, the self-cutting container so that is for and I think in my last haul because I just filmed it there's my brown paper that I need for that I didn't take everything upstairs I grabbed two more of these now I think I have a sufficient amount I'm gonna find a glass or white or some kind of a tray to step on top and glue to this and make some multi-level tiers so I have two there's another one in here I'll run them through the dishwasher because I don't know, I think I've mentioned this once or 50 times that all my glass stuff feels weird. So I'll run these through the dishwasher and then we'll do some kind of a craft because I think it'll look cute on my mantle and I like that. Or if I do a small enough piece on the top, I can put it in my tiered tray for spring. Okay. Um, I picked up this container here, which is called a travel salad dressing container, but I'm going to tell you what I'm using it for. I don't know if you've ever used these, um, which you can use for anything, but it's a nice squishy rubber here, right? And it is, it does seal it really well. And then you open it up and you can just squeeze out your salad dressing. Well, when I go on my weekend trip, I'm going to put Dawn dish soap in here. So I only have to bring this little tiny container. It'll be plenty to clean my coffee cup and any little things that I need to clean up in my room, but mostly my coffee cup and my water bottle. And I thought this is the perfect amount of dish soap that and it won't, I can put it in a zip bag and it won't spill everywhere. So I grabbed that. And if you're nervous, what you can do, oops, sorry. I'm saying sorry to glass. You can just take a piece of saran wrap over the top and then screw it on and it will keep, so then you have the saran wrap will keep anything from leaking out of the lid. You can do that anytime, like for if you're using it for salad dressing or whatever. Anytime you have a tra you're traveling with a bottle, you can put that little piece of cellophane in between, tighten it up, but this is for my travel for my trip for my hotel room, um, just because I like to keep things a little on the tidier side and cleaned up. Um, speaking of, I did grab one of these. Now I have the one with the sponge, but I really wanted the one with the bristle brush for bathtub and shower cleaning. You can put Dawn dish soap in here. I have really hard water. So I am filling mine, I don't know where it is. I'll find it in a second, but I got some lime away. So I'm gonna fill this with lime away for my shower so I can scrub the tub and get in there and it's a more abrasive for the, the um, ceramic tile. So I wanted, I have one with a sponge, but I really was looking for the brush and I think this brush is gonna be better. And you just pull this open and you fill this with whatever detergent. It needs to be kind of a thick detergent if it's like watery, it will just pour right out. But um, what is it called? Lime Away is thick, like, a, like um, a Dawn dish soap. And then you push this and it pushes some of your soap onto your scrubber. This is great. Indoor, outdoor patio cleaning coming up. Do your chairs outside, get your patio, your porch, your outdoor stuff. This would be great for that. Just an all around nice thing to have in your arsenal of cleanliness okay guys i'm kind of excited here i want to share some makeup with you not a huge makeup wear but 
I have a bunch of sun damage. I think I mentioned that before. And I don't like to wear um, foundation, if that makes sense. I don't care for foundation. I'm looking for a trash bag. Right I don't care for foundation. I think it's too heavy. So what I was looking for was some of this. And this is the Believe brand. Uh, this is Tinted Moisturizer. We're going to try a little on my hand. I hate it when they put icky stickies on it, you know? It's got a, a seal. So I went with porcelain because that's pretty much my skin tone. I don't really have much color. So that is it. Not bad at all. And when I get a little color this summer. But I think for my face, there is perfume in it, which always blows my mind. I think that's, yep, yeah, that seems like the right color for me. I'm going to take out a, well, I'm not. We'll just let it dry. So I grabbed two of these because this is my color and I wanted to try it. And it's Believe Beauty. I don't know where this is sold other than the Dollar Tree, but it was somewhere because it has uh, anti-theft sensors on it. That's what I peeled off the other one that got, um, sticky everywhere. So I grabbed that. And then also in the Believe, this is an eyebrow kit. And I will tell you personally, I prefer the, um, I prefer to have a powder eyebrow than I do a liquid. I don't do well drawing them on. I'm opening this for us too. Um, and right now I'm currently utilizing I think it's uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I found it at Sephora, but it's a powder, and I like that. But this kit here comes with your brush. I'm not going to use this. I mean, it's got a tiny little spoolie on one end, and then a, but it's not really a good quality. But you have eyebrow wax, and then your three different colors that you can blend. And this is the wax, so you kind of wax your eyebrows first and that helps the powder stick and it helps your eyebrows stay. So if you were going to use this, you would just dip it in the wax a little bit, brush your eyebrows out, and then you would go over it with the powder. So I don't need this right now. I'm using another one, but I will totally use this. And this is also that Believe Beauty brand. And I think that these colors will match pretty well. My natural colors is what I'm thinking. Oh, I've got multiple trash bags going here. Guys, I'm a mess. And then one other thing I want to open, I found this. This is Beauty Tool. The brand is Cala, C-A-L-A. -A. And I did need a new tweezer. I feel like we always need tweezers. I use them in my craft room all the time. And then I'm like, um, I need a tweezer. And they're all in my craft room covered in goo. So I needed one for my makeup bag that... Um, <laughs> Come on. I just want the tweezer. Here we go. But what I liked about these, and you're going to see, look at that point. That is a nice pokey point. You're going to get in there and get something with that, with those tweezers. I like that. It may end up in my craft room. I don't know. So these are a nice quality tweezer. And I love the, um, the point to it. Yeah, I like that a lot. So I grabbed that for me. Um, I also have over here, let's see what we got. Oh, I grabbed some wet, some ready wipes, antibacterial hand wipes. Yeah, let's open these up. I can get this makeup off my hand with this. Um, also, really for my trip, again, I'm sharing a hotel room with somebody. Not a problem. I'm a nice person. She's a nice person. Um, but we can, you know, clean up after ourselves. And I feel like bringing some antibacterial stuff in COVID is not a bad thing. Wipe down my, you know, if I touch something or I'm, I will be tested before I go because I have to have a negative COVID test to get into Canada. So I will be tested, but it's never, it's not a bad thing to protect those around us you know it's never a bad thing these smell good 
You get 50 wipes. They're also great to have in your car for quick cleanup. So I think these will be good for my trip as well. Um, the cleaning, cars cleaning stuff, I'll just wipe down before I go when I shop. Oh, another receipt for Fetch. I found these. These are Bubble, and the brand is, I don't know. It's just Moroccan mint tea. They are bath oils. So you put a couple of them in your tub and then my Epsom salt and it's just for good dry skin. But it's supposed to be mint tea flavored or scented, I guess. So I thought, oh, I love, I love a good bath with a bunch of moisturizers in it. And then I take the bleach afterwards so, so I don't fall and kill myself the next time I get in the tub. Because that's a thing. Yeah, they're like, they're like um, little bubble bath beads, but these have oil in them. So they help with dry skin, I think. I don't know. I found them. I thought they were interesting. It's really a throwback to when I was a kid. I used to love to take a bubble bath. And I think these would be fun just to have in my downstairs bathroom where I do such things like take a bubble bath. So I grabbed those. This is all $1.25. Did I say that? Uh, mustard. I like this mustard from the Dollar Tree. You get 20 ounces of it. I mean, it's kind of mustard. To me, mustard is mustard. Um, and I was out. So I grabbed that just to have, you know. And but I got some of this SB soap box. This is sea mineral and blue iris liquid hand soap. Uh, liquid hand soap. Just some more hand soaps for the bathroom. I'm trying not to buy a bunch of Bath and Body Works, especially over the winter because of my hands. Mm, smells nice, but these are moisturizing ones. Plus, these are $1.25 and those are $7. So, and I have four bathrooms, four, four bathroom sinks. So, putting soap all over my, plus my kitchen sink. Oh, I have five sinks, but I like to keep hand soap around. So, so there is that. I got a lot more stuff over here, guys. Please don't panic. Here's the lime away. This stuff is great. If you have hard water stains, this is amazing. I use it on all my bathrooms, in my shower, on my counters, on my faucets, cause they get like that uh, mineral deposit. So this is it, I love this stuff. So I grabbed one more, I think I have one upstairs and that's important, right? Okie dokie. Did I show you? I think I showed this bag to you. Yeah, this is all the bathrooms. I already hauled that one. I just haven't put it away yet. If you're a Buckeye fan, it's a reusable grocery bag. Somebody gave it to me, and I thought that was kind of them. I am forever shopping. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think I showed you all this. I did. That's Sarah's Easter basket stuff. That what? That is why it was in there. Guys, I'm a mess today. Maybe I don't have as much stuff as I thought. That's just Sarah's, um, I don't know what that is. Easter candy. Yeah, that's just her Easter candy. Oh, here we go. Okay. I have more stuff here. Don't worry. I'm a mess today, guys. Okay. All right. This is what I was looking for. Okay, I grabbed from me one of these, and we're going to see how big it is. It is a microfiber hair wrap. Um, now that I'm letting my hair get a little longer, I want to wrap it when I get out of the shower to allow it to dry a little bit before I do anything with it. And so if you've not used one of these things, by the way, it feels like those nasty towels that we all hate. Um, oh, you go this way. Turn it over, you twist, twist, twist. There's an elastic and it hooks behind your head. Uh, but it gets the moisture out of your hair. If it works for me, I will, ugh, I can't, I don't know if I can do it guys. It has that, that feel like it's sticking to my skin. Mm, we'll see. I may end up at TJ Maxx or Marshall's and get a different one that's more like terry cloth because I don't know if I can do that one. I don't like that fabric. Okay, in the toy section, 
Let's just see what I got going on over here so I can get all the toy section together. Oh, and another receipt for fetch. Um, well, here, I'll show you. I got some more socks. These, I think, just to wear around the house to keep my feet warm. They are Therapy Plus non-binding men's work socks. Ideal for wider calves, smooth toe seam, fully cushioned. I don't know what brand this is. I, I don't know. It's not a Dollar Tree brand, but um, I wear socks every day, all day when I'm working. And I put lotion on and I saw these and I think this will be good for my um, my size foot. And then up here, they're nice and stretchy, but I liked them because they're really thick feeling and they're, um, squishy. And I liked that. So I wear these socks every single day because I don't leave my house. And then for my part-time job, I always need black socks. And these are, the brand is mini CC women's shoe size four to 10. And they're just basic black socks to wear nothing of any excitement okay i got some toys by toys i mean i'm obsessed with these i had hauled before the little uno go look at the size of these this is dos go it's another card game by the same people which i think this is i don't know who puts these out i don't know oh mattel Okay, so they're made by Mattel. And this is Dose Go. But look at them. I think Easter baskets, guys. Travel into Grandma's house. Take a little hand game. And then I get to learn how to play this one is low down. And whoever has the lowest score wins. And it's another little mini set. I know, aren't they so cute? I'm obsessed. I am so obsessed with these little card games. So I grabbed those. We like to play card games in my family. And then I got this. Because Gloria is my favorite character in Madagascar because I like them big. I like them chunky, chunky. So I grabbed her to sit on my desk. And for no other reason than I need her in my life. Oh my gosh, isn't she adorable? <laughs> she's gonna sit on my desk and she's on her little plot of land and she will sing to me every day and we will be best friends. So I grabbed that for myself. Um, I picked up this sign. I'm going to try the bleaching. I have a red shirt that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna try to put this down when I get a warm enough day and spray the red shirt with bleach and see if I can get this detail because I really like this sign a lot and I think it would look super cute on a t-shirt. Like the flowers and the word. So I grabbed this to try for crafting. Um, and I showed you in a previous haul, these pom-poms, you get 18 in one package and 24 in the other. So I have now three of this size and two of this size, and I'm gonna try to put them on a wreath form and make a bunny wreath. Um, I don't know why, I think I took them upstairs already, but these are the ones I was able to locate. So I think I will have enough to at least do the body. We'll see. I'll have to lay them out and see what I can do. But I think that should be enough of these. I don't know, they're fun. If not, I'll save them for Christmas. Guys, I'm not trying to make this last all day. I found the letters and they happen to have my initials. So I got the L for my first name and I love it. So if you see, it's the L with the bunny ears and then the little bunny tail. Now this is MDF board. It is not easy to, uh, paint. I'm not going to lie. So I think what I would do is probably put a coat of spray paint down first and then maybe go over it with some accents. And then I got an S for Sarah and for our last name. So I actually got two S's, but I'll give, I'll paint one for Sarah and probably tie it on the outside of her Easter basket. And then I will do one for my house. I think these will be perfect in tiered trays or in a shelf or anything like that. So I grab those. And then the last few things I got, some planner stickers. Do I need planner stickers? No. However, these are all about your pet. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but there's cat paws, cat faces, but it also says proud dog parent, bath time, vet appointment, proud cat 
parent, feed them, buy them, clip their nails, um, buy pet food. So these are stickers, make vet appointment, clean the kitty litter. So these are all planner stickers to remind me of my pet needs. And I thought I don't have anything like this and I'm gonna be excited to put these in my planner. I'll give Sarah all the dog ones and I will keep the cat ones or I'll just buy her her own. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just buy her her own. And they're um, sep different on both sides. And you get, so about probably 150 for each pet, for cats and dogs. So I thought these are fun. These were up by the register. If you're a planner person like me, these are fantastic. And then I saw, oh, I'm, having a, I'm having a warm moment. I saw somebody haul these. I don't remember who. I'm sorry. But we have this um, Busy Bee Notebook. I know I don't need more notebooks. I hear you. But yeah, I bought them. This one is Busy Bee. It's line notes. And then on the pages, there's bees. And I'm actually using this one uh, for my trip that I'm going on because I need to have information, hotel information. I need to make sure I have my passport, my COVID test, all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is make lists in here. And when I'm ready to pack, this will just go with me. And then I will have it while I'm up there. If I need to write anything down, I'll have a built-in notebook. And then it's just a memory of that trip. And then I got this one, which is just gold. It says notes on it. And on the inside, it just says notes. And I just think this is fun. Um, these are crown jewels and these are brand and they're also from last year and they are made in the United States here in Ohio and it is a women owned business. So I always like to get those, but I don't need a ton of notebooks, but they're always handy to have for throwing in my purse mostly. And this will go right into my backpack for my trip and it will help me stay organized because there's a lot of, a lot of moving parts for me to be able to cross the border at the end of March. And then the last thing I got is for, also probably will be, I don't know, probably for like travel or whatever, but they're cosmetic bags, but I know I will 100% use these for markers and pens. But this pink one here, and it says stay wild. Isn't that adorable? And then this one is a coordinating bag, so same colors, but it says stay wild as well. So they both say stay wild and they're coordinating bags. So wouldn't this be perfect? to put markers and pens in when I go, I think so. Uh, I know I'm terrible, but I love it. These are adorable. I love them. I love the color, the soft pink and gray. They're everything. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and you're having a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.